cameras. A lot of you don't know, but I have a lot of different interests, including cubing, I did baseball for a while, I do 3D printing, I have a lot of hobbies, and there will be videos about that in the future. As I just mentioned, I do 3D printing. I have a ton of 3D printed little trinkets. This one's a tesseract. It's the shadow of a 4D cube. Anyway, when I was first getting into photography, I had no idea about film in any way, shape, or form. So, when I first figured out about film, I had already been into r regular digital photography. And so I thought that it'd be a good idea to try to 3D print a camera. The idea behind this camera was that you would pull this up, put the film in, if I remember how, and then pull it across, insert it into here. I don't know, you get the idea. This thing is old and broken and uh, falling apart. <laughs> and by the way, this is a pinhole camera. So, as you can probably see from me trying to do the film loading, this is not a very good design. So I had made a version 2. Um, and to this day, I'm still quite happy with the design of this. I think it turned out very well. So the idea behind the film loading of this one is that you would put the film onto this spool and then pull it across, put it into the slot, start winding it a little bit, and then once you have this little assembly here, you put it into the camera body. So now you string this rubber band and that finishes your shutter. It is ready to take photos. As you can see, when I turn this crank, the other one also turns, so it is properly loaded. You have this little shutter. I wasn't really too confident with this design, um, and I haven't tested this design yet. I did get photos off of this. Here are those. I haven't done anything with this camera, so if you want to see me shoot with this camera, comment. And I didn't mention the unloading process. When you've finished with your roll of film, take this little lever and pull it back, and that releases all the tension that was in here. And then with this design, you can just move it down and it locks in that position and then you can start to turn this knob and it will rewind the film. There. And then when you're done, you just pop that back up and it goes back to a ratchet, take off the rubber band and pull it out and you have your finished cartridge. 